and welcome to the sketchbook habit where we will discuss and explore the importance of keeping a daily sketchbook and today I want to specifically address watercolor in the Hobonichi planner um, Hobonichis are really really popular and I certainly love mine I have the Hobonichi cousin and what I've decided to do with it this year is to create a daily sketchbook. And as you can see, um, I'm also doing the Hobonichi Challenge. This month it is all about dogs since it's the year of the dog. And so I've, every single morning I've been taking five minutes to draw the challenge of the day. And you can find more about uh, more out about that on Instagram under the hashtag Hobonichi Challenge. I keep in the front of my Hobonichi cousin the list of the challenges for the day and so I can always refer to that when doing my daily sketches for the challenge. Um, I'm also using the um, daily kind of uh, section to write um, in it <clears throat> and then for my daily pages I'm basically doing a sketch a day and I try to spend less than um, 15 minutes on these um, just to keep myself fluid and intuitive with my work and you can see that I'm doing these beautiful watercolor washes the paper is just gorgeous for this and today I'm going to show you how I do that so um, on this spread you can see that I already did my wash the day before and I'll show you a quick drawing that I'll do on that later but mostly I am very intuitive about it whatever I feel I see in the paper I sort of draw and just um, right now I'm going to show you how I do the watercolor wash so the first thing I do is I put um, my kind of board behind the paper. You can use just a heavy sheet of watercolor paper, a piece of cardboard, it doesn't matter. And I clip the paper to it so it's nice and taut. And I just use these little binder clips. I use um, a large squirrel mop to do my background washes. So it carries a lot of paint and water. And I'm very, very intuitive about it. I don't pre-plan it. Whatever color seems good to me, I just pick up on my brush and I start. So I'm using my Wild Thorn handcrafted watercolors for this journal. I just love them. They're the most beautiful things. I'll leave a link for that in the comments as, long as, as well as all the other materials that I'm using. So I just go to my paint box and I pick a color and today I started with kind of a dark gray called gray Fon Gris Foncé and I just spread it around just randomly I don't think too much about it and then I pick up another color and I do the same and I, I use two to three colors sometimes four depending on how I'm feeling and I just let them kind of mix and mingle on the paper this paper just takes watercolor beautifully it does crinkle up a little bit but I'll show you how I overcome that in a minute so I'm just dropping color seriously just dropping it down onto the paper in a random way I'm not thinking too much about it I'm using four colors today and again I'll, I'll address those colors in the, com um, in the comments below and then I just kind of go around the borders with some water just to give the color a place to go to adding a little bit more here and there if I feel like it's necessary I don't spend too long on this and then what I tend to do is I tend to spritz it with one of my aromatherapy sprays that I make this one is pine and fir and spruce essential oils in water and I shake it up and I just give it a quick spritz it just kind of fills the air with a beautiful aroma and helps the paint move on the page so then what I do is I take my hair dryer and I point it at the paper and I just let it move the paint around however it wants um, I love the randomness about this I love how it just dries in a random way and there's no control this paper again is very very thin but it's strong and the watercolor does not bleed through to the other side and using the dryer on it helps to kind of smooth some of those crinkles out but still gives the lovely lovely random effect that I'm after with this you can also, um, I, I use the low setting on my heat dryer. 
You can also use a heat gun as long as it doesn't get too hot, but the point is you just want to use something to dry it and to help that paper smooth out again. So you can see that it's starting to dry and making all sorts of random splotches and patterns and textures on the paper. It's just absolutely beautiful. What I love about this is that it gives me a really random background to work on. It's just gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. You can change it up every day. So when it's dry, I just remove my binder clips and it is ready for the next day's drawing. So today I thought I would show you uh, kind of a sped up process of my daily drawing. And it, it's something that I don't think much about beforehand, as I've said before, but I just get started. Um, it is just a very random, intuitive process. I start by putting my board underneath my paper again to make it nice and taut. And I use those same binder clips to attach it to the board. This gives me a smoother drawing surface and a little bit of a hard backing underneath and protects the page behind it as well. So once my board is in place and my paper is nice and taut, and sometimes I have to smooth it out a little bit too and just readjust my clips. But after that, um, I begin to draw. And what I'm using this year is um, a Uni Curatoga pencil in a 0.5 millimeter lead. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful pencil. Um, I love the eraser on these pencils. They work just great. So I use that. And then the lead I'm using is, a, um, I think it's a Pilot Neox, it's called. And I use it in a 2B. And this lead is really, really soft and erases super easily, so I can smudge it very well with my fingers. So I'm going to speed this up now and show you my drawing process. So overall, I want to say this drawing took me just under five minutes, and I sped up the um, sort of a time-lapse feature and also cut out some chunks of, of the drawing so it wouldn't be too long. But I just wanted you to see how I, I approach it. I don't really give it much thought, I just dive in. And what I saw in this particular watercolor wash um, was an angel. I, that's what I saw, so that's what I'm drawing. I had put a little splotch of silver paint. It's called, I believe it's called Lunar Silver from the Wild Thorn watercolors. And I put it, um, and just a circle on the top just to give that metallic glint and it reminded me of the moon and I just saw this angel I saw this angel in the paint so I just started to draw her and you can see that um, I just put some pencil lines in and every now and then I smudge them with my finger I don't get too precious with this um, sometimes the drawings turn out really lovely and I'm I'm just smitten with them and other times they're so-so and today's drawing um, isn't my best drawing but I just I wanted to show you how um, how I'm not precious with it how I just kind of let it evolve and use you know my fingers to smudge I'm not using any other tools or materials I simply use the eraser that's already on the pencil this is not about creating a finished piece of artwork. It's more about the daily habit of showing up at your sketchbook 15 minutes or less and just take the time to show up and do it. And when we don't plan things out ahead of time, it makes it so much better because we don't fret and worry about it. So when my daily drawing is done, I usually set myself up for the next day by creating my watercolor wash, and then I'm just ready to go in the next morning. The most important thing I want you to take away from this is that it's such a vital thing to show up to our sketchbooks every day, whether it doesn't matter what kind of sketchbook you have or what kind of materials you have, even just a piece of paper and a pencil, it's so important to take the time. So I hope this video was helpful to you and that you'll try these techniques out no matter what sketchbook and materials you have. I also hope you'll visit me on Instagram at Katira Ewing and on my website katiraewing.com. You can also subscribe to my channel for updates on all the latest videos. Thanks so much for being here.